Selling put options is my absolute favorite option strategy of all time. In this video, I will answer the questions, what are put options? Should you sell them? How risky are put options? How much do you need to trade in put options? And how can you make money selling put options? Briefly, a put option gives the owner of that option the right to put or sell 100 shares per contract of a stock into the seller of that option's account. And they can do that for a specified time. For example, here you see some put options that we sold in IBM. They are the November 19th, 135 put options. By us selling three contracts this option, we've given the trader who bought them from us the right, but not the obligation, to sell us three contracts worth or 300 shares of IBM at $135 per share at any time between now and when this option expires on November 19th. So you might be asking, well Randy, why would someone pay you $5.61 per share to have the right to sell you this IBM stock at $135? The answer is that it gives them insurance or protection. You see, no matter how low IBM goes between now and November 19th, let's say for example, it crashes down to $100 per share. No matter how low it goes, as long as I'm short this put option, I'm committed to buy IBM from them at $135 per share if they decide to exercise that option. But just know that if I decide that I don't wanna be in this position anymore between now and November 19th, I can close it out and just be out of this position altogether by buying the option back to close. If we decide to do that, then as you can see here, it cost me $2.52 per share to buy this option back and close out the position. Predominantly when it comes to put options, we are sellers of them. On very few occasions will we actually buy a put option. But the reason for that is because I like the consistent cash flow that selling options pays us. Most likely you've heard that selling options as compared to the casino business. There will be times on positions like the one I mentioned earlier in IBM when IBM crashes below our short put option strike price. And the trader that bought that option from us, they actually get a big win. But more often than not, these options will either expire worthless or if the underlying stock price does drop below the strike price of the put option that we sold, for example, say IBM dropped to $130 per share. If we don't want the stock to be put into our account, then we can always just roll this option out in time. There are even techniques that we use that will enable you to roll them out to a new position or strike price and time frame that's more favorable to you. But that's a story for another video. But do you need money to sell put options? And if so, how much do you need? The answer is yes. You need some capital to sell put options. You see, if you're selling a put option, you're selling someone else's insurance. So you need to be prepared for them to put 100 shares of that stock into your account at any time before expiration per contract that you sold. On this channel, I strongly encourage traders, especially new option traders, to not use margin or leverage. The reason is because as you can see here, if IBM were put into our account, it would cost us $135 times 100 shares or $13,500 to buy it. However, as you can see here, because we are proof of portfolio margin, Interactive Brokers is telling us that they will only require us to have $1,628 available in our account to do this trade. As you can see in this example, we could potentially be trading 10 times the amount of positions as compared to cash that we'd actually need if this stock were put into our account because Interactive Brokers will only require us to have approximately 12% of what the stock would actually cost us if we had to buy it outright for cash. That's why I say that I strongly encourage traders, especially new option traders, to not use margin. Make sure you have the full amount of cash set aside in case the stock is put into your account. The reason for that is because if a stock goes against you, this margin requirement, it will go up. If the stock goes really far against you, the margin requirement will go up a lot. When that happens, if you don't have the cash available to cover the margin requirement or to add to your account, then your broker will liquidate your position most likely at the worst possible time, thus resulting in massive losses and possibly putting you out of the option trading business altogether. But do you need to own a stock in order to sell put options in it? The answer to that question is no. In fact, there are many option traders that want to own a stock that will initiate stock ownership by selling put options at a strike price that they'd be happy to own the stock at. Let's go back to our IBM example. As you can see here, IBM closed last night right around $143 per share. But let's say that you believe IBM is going to come down in price or you just want to try and buy it at a lower price than where it's currently trading at. Let's say you wanted to buy at that same 135 strike price that I mentioned to you earlier, since that's right below the red 200 moving average that you can see here. In that case, you can do what many option traders do and sell a 135 strike put option. That way if IBM comes down below 135 on expiration day, you'll be able to pocket the option premium that you were paid up front for, which is $2.52 per share, and also buy the stock at your desired price of $135 per share. So you don't need to own stock already in order to sell a put option. On the other hand, it can be a great way to get paid while you wait for stock to come down in price that you'd like to buy at that price. Okay, so you might be thinking, that all sounds pretty good, but how risky is it to sell put options? That's a very important question and one that I wish a lot more option traders would ask. 
For example, I just watched a video by a younger option trader on YouTube that was saying that he would suggest people sell put options in strong, mature, stable companies like Coca-Cola. He even said that is what he should be doing. But he then proceeded to show a trade that he was doing in a very risky, unprofitable, brand new company because it paid a good option premium. Keep in mind that when you sell a put option, you're really selling someone else some insurance. And we all know what insurance is. We probably have it on our car. Or maybe we have it on our belongings in the form of tenants insurance. Or if we own a house, we have it on our house. When someone buys insurance, they're paying someone else money to take on the risk in case something bad were to happen with that asset. That's the same thing we're doing when we sell put options. We're selling someone else insurance. So we need to be prepared to pay for that asset if something bad happens to the price of the underlying stock. That's why I strongly encourage you to only trade options in companies that you'd be happy to own and at a strike price that you'd feel comfortable owning that stock at. If you're selling options on highly volatile, unprofitable, speculative companies because they're popular in the news or they pay high option premiums, just know that you're greatly increasing your risk. And yes, the reward tends to be higher for higher risk, but so does the punishment when you're wrong. Theoretically, any company that we sell put options in can go to zero, go bankrupt. So for example, back to our trade on IBM. If IBM were to go bankrupt, we could lose that whole $13,500 that we have at risk if we allowed the stock to be put into our account and its price went to zero. Obviously, that's a lot less likely for a mature company like IBM, but that's the risk that we're getting paid to take when we sell put options. By the way, if that was really useful, what I just share with you, and I'd love it if you just give this video a like. Just bump the like button. And thank you so much for doing that. Now that I've laid out the risk of selling put options and possibly scared you just a little bit, let's get to the fun part and talk about how much money we can make by selling put options. We have been trading options for a long time. As such, we've created a system that provides us options trading opportunities in what I consider solid, mature, and consistently profitable companies. On a daily and weekly basis, we scan over 200 potential companies looking for opportunities to trade options in. I like to sell options. I generally don't buy them. There are really only two situations in which I buy options, which I won't go into here, but I've explained those circumstances in other videos. Predominantly on 98% of the option trades we do, we are selling options. The reason is that I like the cash flow. I use that cash flow to live on, to reinvest, and to grow my account, and even to buy some stocks outright. Let me show you a trade I'm going to do right now to show you exactly how we make money by selling put options. Smuckers, ticker symbol SJM, is one of our over 200 companies that we feel comfortable owning. He said that earlier this year, it reached a high of just over 140 per share. Since that time, it has retraced back down to this area that previously served as resistance for it in the last half of 2020. Remember that resistance typically turns into support for a stock. That's what we're seeing now here with Smuckers. It's also finding nice support at this red 200 moving average on the weekly chart. So we feel comfortable selling a put option in Smuckers. Here's our actual trade on Interactive Brokers account. I'll just type in the ticker symbol for Smuckers, SJM, select options. We're going to pick the November 19th expiration day. We're going to select the 120 put option that is just out of the money. And initially, we'll see if we can get a little better fill price then midway between the bid and the ask. So we'll start out at $3.25 per share. We'll click Submit and now Transmit. As you can see, the order's sitting out there, but it's not getting filled. I have found that if I want an order to get filled, I really shouldn't wait. I like to go ahead, and if it's a fair price, just go ahead and get the order filled. So we'll switch it to $3.20 per share, and now as you can see, the order has been filled at our price. Now that we are short the Smuckers November 19th 120 put option, we'll go in and set an alert so that if either the November 19th 120 put or call option time value premium gets down to $0.40 cents per share, we'll get an alert to either roll this position out or close it out and put that capital back to work in a brand new position. Now we'll sit back and let time decay eat away at the time value premium in this option. And I can also figure out what I'm going to do with this $320 that we just made. If you'd like to receive alerts when we sell options, similar to the trades I mentioned in this video, consider the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like more details on how we make money selling put options, check out the video series at the link above in the description below entitled, Selling Put Options Explained with Real Life Examples. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.